So to start off the lovely day in Florence, Italy, we started off with some biscuits, as my British friends called them, and a delicious coffee made by the hostel staff. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Then we continued to walk on and go and see all the monuments, go see some artwork, go, you know, just explore Florence. Exploring Florence had some great benefits as we got to see some crazy buildings made of like all marble and just, you know, just stuff that would be amazed to be built back in the day. Walking across the bridge, we were going to try and find some food before I had to leave to go to Pisa. But then one of my British friends decided that we should take a detour and we went down in this area along the riverbank that had graffiti and all sorts of cool stuff. One of my favorite graffitis was this alligator, which <laughs> I have no idea what it said. This is pretty short. Fuck. You have to follow it. I didn't follow it. You just, on <laughs> <laughs> you just stand there smiling. Like, yay! Yay! Not Italian! <laughs> I'm Mickey! Wait, what do Italians do? Oh, I can't do that. You I, can't? I can't. Oh. It's. <laughs> Oddly enough, there was this weird Italian store called Happy Shopping, which I thought was pretty funny. It sounded like something the Asians would do and, you know, name a store after an English name because they think it's cool, but it was really weird. Then we went to this awesome sandwich shop that we found on uh, some sort of review app. Yeah, what'd you get? Um, I think. Uh, number five. five. Yeah. Yeah, Pajetta. Wow. It was all fresh. We got to watch the dude cut it. He cut the cheese, he cut the meat. It was good, fresh prosciutto. I have no idea what the cheese was at the time, but it was so good. I'd absolutely recommend you go. It was in front of a castle and there was a lot of competing panini shops there, so that was good because I think it marketed their business to be cheaper and even better than their competition, which is, a, you know, competition's always a good idea, especially over in places like this where everybody's run by one person. Oh man, it was so good. Underneath that, he had a shelf of pastries that he also made too. I have no idea how he made so many different things. It was incredible. It was just one guy. He's so talented. Then I had to grab a panini and run off to Pisa really quickly, which will be in the next episode, so make sure to stay tuned and follow me there. If you like this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and to subscribe for future content like this. Then click the notification button next to the subscription box to join the notification party. Alright, that's a good